you all for really the community of the riders and also those who are promoting our passion of riding in whatever form it is, whether we are here today or you know, promoting us, encouraging us, I don't mean by any sponsors or anything, but even those who keep encouraging us, whether it's on Facebook or telephone calls or meeting or what we are doing. I must also say that we bikers are not only involved in our passion of riding, there are not many clubs who along with the passion of riding combine a lot of social causes into our ride just to bring in social awareness into the minds of the people. You know, the, the say when God takes away something, He gives you something else in return and you got to recognize it. Whatever is the condition of my knees today, I don't blame God. I blame only myself. Because when I was told to stop running my marathons, when I was, stopped, uh, was told to stop playing football, I never gave up. I asked the doctor, what is the treatment. He said, we'll be put into medical category. I said, then, he said, painkillers. I said, that I can do without taking a category. So he said, the choice is yours. And this was a little extra step I took with the doctors because my wife happened to be working in the hospital. There was a personal touch. So I've been taking steroid injections and playing football. And that is the result of which my knee is the condition it is in today. But then I say I lived my life that I wanted it to. No regrets. I did whatever I wanted to. And I knew that I am going to start biking even after my arthritis attack. I went under underwent training uh, treatment whether you call it within herbal medicine, apart from the allopathy, homopathy, sports medicine specialist, Hasi oil massage, and what have you. But finally, not giving up, I graduated from the kinetic Honda to a slender. I would fix the walking stick, handle on the sari guard, uh, 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 handle on the leg guard, and the other rubber portion on the sari guard, get onto the bike, from the right, it started and start riding. Then graduated into a 220 and then now into the Royal Enfield Classic 500. And Out of my five continuous rides to Ladakh till 2013, four of them have been on the Classic and the first one on which I made my and what I got into it was for my ride in 2009. That was on the Pulsar Kutya. I'm grateful to all of you. I know lots of you have been encouraging me for my ride. Many say, sir, you are an inspiration to us. I tell it the other way around. You all have my inspiration. The courage you are giving, the determination you are giving, is unbelievable. And that's what keeps me going. May I guess there are less of riders and clubs and all that. Going long distances. I was used to going long distances alone on my ESD at that time. And so, therefore, even today, whether I moved to Kathmandu for the fifth interna uh, international rendezvous and poker run, or whether it was now for the uh, RM Gwajar Pandra at Chandigarh, it doesn't deter me or stop me from riding away alone. Solo rides, 
I enjoy as much as I enjoy going to the roads. Let's see how far and how much more I can be riding. I know with all your good wishes and encouragement, I should be continuing to ride a little more till my knees are replaced. And the day I find myself a risk to myself or to people on the road to be traffic in handling the bike, I will be the first person to give up riding. And then I shall go in for my replacement of my knees. Till then, till I am riding safe and with my own physiotherapy or whatever I have learned all this time, I am keeping myself going. Thank you so much. Yeah. For arranging this event at a lovely place and a lovely get together and lot many events and for coming up tomorrow also. And let's enjoy it to the end. Thank you so much.